hardware circuitry of our project, which is divided into different modules. First, let us discuss. These are the transformers that we are using for step down the input voltage, that is 220 volts into 10 volts peak to peak. This is the automatic mode of operation and here we are using an Atmega 16 uh, microcontroller for our automatic mode of transmission which is connected to a GSM module. This GSM is module is GSM SIM 300. Apart from this, we have this circuitry which we have designed for our manual mode of operation. It consists of Atmega 16 microcontroller connected to a IC called APR9600 which is responsible for IVRS response. Also connected to this is a DTMF IC ST9170 that is used for taking the input values from user. This whole circuitry is designed for detecting the three phase presence and phase loss or lag. This is the soil moisture sensor which we have designed by ourselves that consists of a non-conducting material such as the wood that we have used and it also consists of five different conducting levels and each conducting level consists of two plates separated by a fine gap in between them and above of them a fine cloth with a sponge is placed which absorbs water. We supply voltage over here and the moisture level determined by this level is fed to the microcontroller both the microcontrollers and these inputs values are first of all given as input to this ULN2803 which amplifies the input value range and shows the level of the soil moisture that is we have here LEDs that shows which up to which level the soil mo is moist. Hence all these components comprise the hardware requirement of our project. A very good option. Here is our project, remote automation and data monitoring of irrigation system. And he is my fellow mate, Apurva Raj, Hi. and myself, Akash, and Abhishek Mori. We start so, Now, to begin with, here are our different modules to control the irrigation pump. First, we are going to begin with this three phase supply. Three -phase supply. Here you can see the three phase supply is connected. This is R, Y and B. The, all the three phases are connected to the step down transformer so that it steps down to the 505 volts. Now we are, and we are going to switch on the motor. The three phase power supply will be fed to the op amp which is half wave rectified so that it gets converted from sine to square pulse. The output is fed to the three input XOR gate. Now the output of the XOR gate is fed to an L293D IC which acts as a chopper circuit. The output of the chopper circuit which acts as a PWM to analog converter is fed to a 10 bit flash ADC here. Here we can see all as all the three phase power supply here as all the three phase power supply is available. The indic it is indicating as 10 bit flash ADC. Here you can see the 10 LEDs are glowing here means all the phases are in correct phase and it's available. And here is a phase phase loss detection circuit here. Here we can see three LEDs glowing. One, two, three. That is R, Y and B. Means all the three phases input here are available for the motor to operate. There are two modes. One is the manual mode of operation and here is the automatic mode of the operation. In the manual in the manual mode, the user will call to this GSM module and it will be automatically received by the automatic mode of the microcontroller. Once the GSM is auto received, the control is transferred to the manual mode of operation. Since three phase is available here, which is being indicated by three LEDs and the soil moisture level is low, we must get a message that motor is being turned on and it operates the relay to turn on the motor. Here we are waiting for the message for the motor should be turned on. Yeah, we have got the next message here from the GSM module. Here it's indicating that motor is turned on. Keeping the soil moisture level which is same as 2, we, are, we have now removed one of the phases in RYB combination 
showing only two phases is available. Now let's wait for the next status of the message. Yeah, we have obtained a message here. Show that three phase is not available and soil moisture level is two, which means that the motor cannot be turned on even though the soil moisture level is low. Now we are waiting for the next status of the message whether the motor is switched on or off. Yeah, we have got our next message. It's indicating that motor is switched off. Now coming to the manual mode of operation. Upon calling to the same number from which we have received the SMS which is the number of the GSM module, the system must automatically receive the call you know, and to guide the user about the switch on and switch off the motor. Here as the status level is 2 and the soil moisture level is 2. Here the automatic Yeah, now we have switched on the motor. The next response should be, we are waiting. Yeah, which is indicating that three phase is not available. This is the response of the IVRS which you are getting from this IC, APR9600, which we have configured with eight messages. Yeah, as we heard now, soil moisture level is two which is the current correct status of two phase is available and the soil moisture level is 2 which is indicated here. This is the overall working of the, our project in which it can operate both in automatic mode and also in the manual mode. In automatic mode the motors are turned on based on the three phase is available or not and also the level of the soil moisture and in manual mode the user can directly interact with the system and gets guidance from the IVR system which is present over here and turns on the motor based on the levels indicated to him. Thank you very much.